Hi, Penny Carlson from Topics of Digital Photography. The great thing about an online course is I can teach it from anywhere. So today is February 9th and I'm coming to you from southern Florida where it's about 85 degrees. So I hope you guys are staying warm. Today we're going to talk a little bit about camera lenses. We're going to focus on DSLR camera lenses. But the first thing you need to know is what kind of DSLR you have. Most of you have what's known as an APS-C sensor. Some of you, if you've got a bigger, more expensive camera, may have a full frame camera. The difference between an APS-C size, size camera and a full frame camera is the sensor size. The full frame camera has a larger sensor and takes a better quality picture. Remember, sensor size, not pixels, is what really makes for a great quality picture. But the APS-C size sensor takes a remarkably good picture too. So if you've got an APS-C size sensor, don't worry, you'll be able to take some great pictures with it. To keep the camera a little bit smaller, the APS-C type cameras use a smaller sensor. And what it basically does is it crops the image, the same image that you would get when you use the full frame camera. The crop factor on most APS-C size cameras is anywhere from 1.4 to 1.6. My camera has a 1.5 crop factor. 1.5 is nice because you can do the math in, in your head. And all of them will be around that. So if you use 1.5, you're going to come pretty close to what your actual final results would be. Okay, so to show you the difference between a lens used on a full frame camera and on a APS-C size camera, we're going to use this 50 millimeter lens. So 50 millimeters on a full frame is about what your eyes would see. On an APS-C camera, that 50 millimeters becomes 50 times 1.5, 75 millimeters. This is going to bring your subject in quite a bit closer. So to demonstrate, what I'm going to do is take this 50 millimeter lens, set my cameras up on a tripod, and take a picture of the same subject at the same distance using both lenses. This lens is known as a prime lens. It only has one focal length. The lenses I currently have on these cameras are zoom lenses. They'll take a range of different focal lengths. Zoom lenses tend to be more convenient the prime lens will take a better quality picture, assuming your lens quality is similar at a given focal length. As you can see, this lens is a lot smaller and easier to carry and generally less expensive. So right now I've got my full frame camera set up on a tripod. I've got the tripod locked in place and I'm going to keep the exact same settings on the tripod when I switch over to the APS-C size camera. Okay, so I thought in Florida it would be fitting to take a picture of a palm tree. You're seeing this with actually a wide angle shot, so when we go with the 50 millimeter, I'm just going to see the top of that palm tree, and I'm going to snap a picture and we'll see what it looks like. Then we'll switch over, we'll put the lens on the APS-C camera, and take the exact same picture from the same angle, and we'll see how that looks. Okay, so let's take a picture. Okay, it's done. Now we're going to take this camera off, switch the lens, and put the APS-C size camera on. Always turn your camera off when you switch your lenses, because otherwise you can attract extra dirt to your sensor. Take this lens off, put it on the APS-C, so we're using the same lens. I don't want my good camera getting dirty, so sensor getting dirty, so I'm going to put this lens back on it. Okay, now we're going to click this in, the tripod. Now we're going to snap it and take the exact same picture we took when we used the full frame sensor. Okay, so we'll compare those two pictures. Okay, now that you know a little bit about crop factor and we've compared the APS-C and the full frame camera, 
I'm going to use the full frame for the rest of my example. And we're going to look at different types of lenses for different purposes. Okay, we've already talked about the difference between a prime lens, which has a single focal length, and a zoom lens. This is a common walk-around zoom, which goes from 24 millimeters, which would be wide angle. Anything on a full frame camera that's shorter than 35 millimeters would be considered wide angle. And this goes all the way up to 70 millimeters. Okay, around 70 millimeters, we consider telephoto length on a full frame camera. Uh, and obviously, 50 millimeters on an APS C is equivalent to 75 millimeters on a full frame camera. So we would use a shorter focal length as an equivalent lens on a APS-C sensor. Okay, so this is 24 to 70 millimeters. My normal walk around, my normal walk around zoom lens on my APS-C is 17 to 55 millimeters. Now there's a difference between zoom and telephoto. Some people think that a zoom lens is one that lets you get in really close to a subject. Zoom lenses may do that, and I can understand why people call it a zoom lens, because after all, you can zoom in on your subject to bring it closer. But a zoom lens is just a lens that has variable focal lengths. That's not a telephoto lens. A telephoto lens, and this is a super telephoto lens, that is also a zoom lens, is a lens that brings your subject in close. So this lens goes from 200 millimeters to 500 millimeters. Uh, this is my lens I use for taking shots of birds. And you can understand where an APS-C sensor might actually be a better camera for taking shots of birds than using this lens, because your 500 millimeter lens becomes, if you multiply it by the 1.5 crop factor, a 750 millimeter lens. This is a prime wide angle lens if you use it on a full frame camera, it's 20 millimeters. If you use it on an APS-C camera, it's 30 millimeters. 1.5 crop factor times 20 millimeters equals 30 millimeters. You would use a wide angle lens to get a broad view of your scene. I've got my camera set up exactly the same way in the same position it was in when we worked with the 50 millimeter lens. And now I have the 20 millimeter lens on my full frame camera. We're going to take a picture of this tree and you're going to see that we get way more information in the scene. Let's compare this to the 50 millimeter picture. I can take a little bit of a shortcut here because this camera has a button on it where I can also crop. The crop factor on this is 1.4, so it's a little bit different than my camera is, but a lot of APS-C cameras do have a 1.4 crop factor. Okay, now let's compare the two. Here's the full frame camera. Here's the APS-C camera equivalent. Now I'm going to put this big lens and you can see it's a pretty impressive setup on the tripod. And if you're shooting with a lens this long, you really need to use a tripod. Otherwise, you're just going to get too much camera shake and it's going to make your picture blurry. And let's take a shot. Here's our 500 millimeter shot. As you can see, you're only seeing the leaves in the palm tree, so you're getting in really close. Let's take a shot now using the 1.4 crop factor. And let's compare the two pictures. Here's the 500 millimeter shot on the full frame camera. And here's the 1.4 crop factor, which is about what you get on an APS-C sensor. Another thing worth talking about when we're comparing focal lengths on cameras is to take into consideration how a given focal length will make the objects in a scene appear. A longer focal length will compress a scene, while a shorter focal length will make objects in the scene seem further apart. 
The best example of this phenomena, based on the shots we've taken today, are probably these two focal lengths where we can see the umbrella to the right of the palm tree and the fence to the left of the palm tree. This shot uses the 20 millimeter lens, but the 1.4 crop factor. So it would be equivalent to a 42 millimeter lens on a full frame camera. Notice the position of the umbrella to the palm tree and the fence on the left side to the palm tree. When we use the 30 millimeter focal length, notice how the scene spreads out more and the palm tree seems further away from the umbrella to its right and the fence to its left. So not only are we getting a wider view of the scene, the objects in the scene also seem further apart. Okay, so enough about lenses. Now back to my vacation. Corona, Miss Carlson. Thank you. Cheers.